No, it's more instantaneous for me. I will, I will see something and, and that's when I want to grab it. It's not like I go out and, okay, today from 10 to 12, I'm going to find subject matter and I'm going to film it. But it's always been shooting from the hip, more or less. The light has to be right, the textures have to be right, the composition just comes together right in front of me. And I could be walking down the street and see it. Uh, I could be walking in the woods and see it. I never know. I just never know. My, a lot of my muse has been simply the sycamores that my grandfather planted that line my driveway, which you know, that go on for a mile. It's absolutely fantastic every time of the day. So I walk it every morning. Sometimes I take my camera, sometimes I don't. But the other morning, there was this beautiful mist across the whole river. And you couldn't see anything on the other side. And I'm sitting there doing my bookkeeping and I look out the window and I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta go outside. So I grabbed my camera and I went out on the dock and took the dogs and walked all around the property. And it was, I got some great shots, which I've just printed on some watercolor rag paper. Everybody right now is walking with their heads down. They're looking at their phones or they're reading something as they're going down the street. And I, and I, I want people to stop and look at these and really maybe now pay attention to the environment that's around them because trees are they're just a background for most people, but they have their own story. They're all individual. They've got different shapes and forms and no two trees are alike, yeah. even though they're the same, same ones. And, and I love the fact that you can drive through the country and here's a farm field, but out in the middle of the field, there's a ginormous oak or some huge, beautiful tree that is there all by itself. Thank goodness nobody's thought, oh, well, we're not going to go around this anymore and, and leave it there. And there's a particular tree in Unionville. Everybody knows it. And that's how Don Hildebrand and I really got to be friends. We did a tree show together. He did his paintings and I did my photos. And a lot of it was because we were both attracted to that tree. I photographed it in all seasons. He painted it in all seasons. And people will walk in and they go, is that the tree that's Unionville Road? Yep, that's is the that one. Is that going to be in the show? Well, that's what I like about this show because it's given me an opportunity. All of the photographs are, they're framed, they're, you know, 22 by 28, 24 by 36. They're large pieces. Yeah, and it's really exciting because they look, terrific. I remember the first large piece I did was was this log canoe that's sitting right here. And when I held it in my hand and I saw it framed, I was like, wow, this is really great. Big is, big is good.